Welcome to the BHB headquarters in South West London. My name is William Pymont, Managing Director. Today we're here to judge Dream Car Competition at Week 1, 2018, which ran from the 1st to the 7th of January. Before we do that, I'd like to say congratulations to Louise Jones, who won the fantastic Range Rover Sport plus £20,000. And you can see us surprising her as she returned back from holiday at Gatwick Airport, both on our website and YouTube channel. I'd now like to introduce Joe Tompkins from Onside Law, who will be overseeing proceedings today. Hi, I'm Joe Tompkins from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been passed to the auditors Wilkins Kennedy. I'd now like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a car out of the bag to determine their seating position. Our first judge is Gareth Deneen. Okay. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, my name is Gareth Deneen. I'm a senior county referee and I appoint referees to various competitions throughout the London area. Thanks, Thank you. White. Our next judge is Matt Cannon. Good morning, Joe. Hello, my name is Matt Cannon. I'm in my 10th season as a referee and a 45th season as a player. Yo. Our third judge is Hugh Gilroy. Morning, Joe. Hi, my name is Hugh Gilroy. I'm an active referee, mentor, tutor, and observer. Thank you. Thank you. Red. Our next judge is Alan Goma. Morning, Joe. Good morning, my name is Alain Goma. I'm an ex-professional footballer. I played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle and Fulham. Thank you. Purple. Our next judge is Ari Mendonca. Morning, Joe. Morning, uh, my name is Ari Mendonca. I've been involved in football for over 30 years. Firstly as a player, then as a referee. Lou. Our next judge is Leo Donnellan. Morning, Joe. Hello. Hello, my name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player, having played with Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton Orient. Orange. Orange. And our final judge is Trevor Weaver. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, I'm Trevor Weaver. I've been refereeing now for 30 years. I also act as a mentor to newly qualified referees. Thanks, Trevor. The last one out is the green car. Okay, judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I'll ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position, and we'll then ask you to come to a panel decision on the central screen. Okay, everyone happy? Yeah. Okay, Aaron, could you just explain where you've chosen that position? Yes, um, my, my cross is the blue one. Um, well, we have a few players on, on this shot. Um, I think the one who's going to uh, get this ball is this player over here on, on, on the right side. The ball is, I believe, is just, just above, his, above his head. Uh, he's looking straight up. Uh, his body language as well. Well, he's, he's still on the floor. Um, to get the height, I used the, the um, eye line of this player in blue. Um, and the way he is, uh, I think the ball couldn't be much lower. Uh, with his, eye, um, with his expression, I believe the ball should be slightly higher, that's why I placed where it is. Thanks, Eric. Okay, and you? <coughs> yeah, uh, mine is the red cross. Uh, I've looked at the player in blue's eyes, I think he's pretty much looking horizontal, slightly just up from that. Um, I think this player's probably going to flick it on. I agree, he's stood on the ground, don't think he's going to jump for it. But I don't think it's too low yet, because he hasn't started to move his head, and that's why I've placed my cross there. Thank you. Okay, Matt, if you'd like to talk us through your cross. Yeah, so as uh, Hugh said, I think the ball's directly above this player's head on the right. Uh, and I believe this player on the left who's on looking isn't looking that high. I think he's looking just above the horizontal. Uh, and I've put my yellow cross where I have. Thanks, Matt. And Trevor? Yes, uh, mine's the green cross. Um, nothing really much to add. Uh, obviously, this player's going to win that ball unchallenged. Player in blue is looking on. As everybody said, taking his eye line, I've worked it out that it would be cross-referencing right where that green cross is. That's why I placed it there. Thanks, Trevor. And Leo? Yeah, I'm the orange cross. Uh, I think if you look at this player, both his eyes, he's, he's very concentrated on the ball, uh, which is above his, his, his head. So it's just a matter of, of the height of the ball. I think if you look at this player, for me, there's a bit of distance between the players and obviously when he's looking fairly far away, um, you can sort of gauge the height. So I've just 
I've gone from there, obviously over to there, and uh, that's why I decided to put my cross there. Thanks, Leo. Alan. Yeah, um, obviously I'm the, I'm the lowest of uh, all of us. Um, I think we all agree uh, the ball is, you know, straight above uh, this player's head. Um, but I use, you know, uh, this player's eyes, you know, to, to determine the, the height. And I think especially his right eye is looking, you know, straight uh, in front of him, you know. And uh, that's why I put my cross, you know, at the same level as his eyes, basically. Thanks, Al. And finally, Gareth. Mine's the white cross. I uh, agree with all my colleagues. We've got taking a line from the player in the blue shirt, his eyes across. I think the ball's in the foreground, a little bit in the foreground. Uh, in front of this fellow, it's dropping down to him. Probably going to head the ball. We can't see his arms, so we don't know exactly what he's going to do. Uh, but judging from this guy's eyes and the two eyes above this fellow's head, that's where I put my cross. Thanks, Gareth. Okay, judges, if you can now come to a panel decision on the central screen. Um, right, should we put a cross in first or should we put some lines in first? Uh, well, okay, pretty pretty good. Yeah, okay, if we take another line from him. Oh, yeah. From the middle of his nose, isn't it? And where's the average? Just kind of through Trevor's and yours, isn't it? So I haven't got, got any crosses here, so I can't. Just above, above that, bit white. It's a, yeah, just above there. So, okay. That's about all. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, do the other one as well. Looks slightly lower now. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think the average is, is coming up from in the middle of his head because I think you take the eyes, it's the thing on the left of his so head. But you can see better that from, from, from the nose, yeah. yeah from the nose, vertically straight up, yeah, and nice. takes us yeah. right through the middle of everybody. So pull, pull, pull this one back through that one there, through his nose, what? from the his, yeah. his left nostril, if you like. Well, let's go and put a cross in then. Yeah. To the left of that line. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's coming down the wing. So. How's that for the average? That looks a little high. I, uh, I think you want to come down a bit. Down to the left? Yeah, well, I would say that, but then... Yeah, I think this line yeah. is misleading. I think if, if the average is really straight up from the middle of his nose. Yeah. There's an average. Well, all the line. line with where Harry is. So, so I don't want to come up to there. This would be like that. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's yeah. perfect. Can, can you magnify his eyes, you know, the yeah, it's, 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 yeah. Yeah. So he's got the tilt of his head as well. Yeah, I don't know. Well, he's, he's, he's looking directly yeah. at the ball, isn't he? Yeah. This guy, this eye here on this colour looks to be lower than that one. That one, his left eye looks to be looking slightly up and his right mm. eye looking slightly lower. But I think Alan's point something out is quite, I mean, if the ball's coming into him this sort of way, if you're lower, it's going to be further over to the yeah, right. Isn't it mm -hmm. higher, it's going isn't to be... Isn't it coming in that way? Well, yeah, well, we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where we're all, that's where we're all we're as a judge, aren't we? Um, but as an average, is that not... <coughs> that's about there. I mean, it's pretty good. It might be a the middle, slightly lower, yeah. I think. Mm. I mean... Okay, we've got Harry up there, but also I know it's mine. I think the white one's the white one is height wise the, the average. And yeah. then it's to the left of that. To the left of that, yeah, I would agree. Yeah. So do we want to go up a touch? I don't know, I don't yeah, think you want to go anything there from there. I'm looking at the big screen over the day, at the back. It's an average, I think that's pretty yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, happy with that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Nice job. Happy. Okay, the coordinates selected are 2239821. That's 2239821. These coordinates now we pass to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the composition, and they'll inform BOTB. That concludes today's judgment. <laughs>